Well, with Kyler Murray, some uh, arguing that he'll be the number one overall pick in next week's draft. A lot of folks are calling Nick Bosa's name at number two. Lewis, he benefits from his brother Joey, who's also produced, already produced at the next level. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how are they alike and how are they different? It's a great question. And I'll tell you what, I have a whole montage of things. Watch the draft that I'm going to show you <laughs> on draft night as far as how side by side how they look. Look, they're, they're very similar as far as being technicians. They're mm -hmm. not guys who blow you away athletically, right. but they're so far advanced as far as how they play the game. Mm -hmm. it's whether it be their run game recognition, their run game pad level hand use and hustle to the football, to the way they rush the passer. They both can rush with power. They both have a very good feel for being able to feel leverage and where they need to counter and where they need to go from there. And they are very similar in that way. Now, Joey looks a little bit longer, mm -hmm. a little bit more thinner, lean. Nick is stocky. Thicker. Nick is strong. Yep. I mean, and so they're a little bit different body type wise, but the way they play the game, you can tell that they're brothers and they're people yep. who have talked about playing mm -hmm. the game very, very similarly. Yeah, they're very similar. I think if you look at what Nick was able to do from a rush standpoint in college. I think he was a little better at that and something that we noticed about him being able to put pressure on the quarterback, create turnovers. He was huge in that aspect for Ohio State. I thought Joey was a little bit more stout against the run. It seemed like Nick almost fell in love with rushing the passer, especially later on in his career because he had so much success. So it's going to be up on Nick to make sure when he gets to the league, he works on being a three down guy, which Joey definitely is. And you talk about draft night, watching and comparing them. Well, watch ESPN Plus. The mother compares them <laughs> on an ESPN <laughs> Draft Academy feature. So watch there everything. Are, there are both there we got it all. everywhere. So there are both who, comparisons everywhere. Who's out there? Who should have their eye on Nick Bosa? Everybody's got their eye on Nick Bosa. And you better I know be there are people, early. I know yeah, there are no people kidding, that huh? don't love him, but I know I think there are more people that do love him, and I do think that there are more people who believe that he's probably, arguably, one of the two best defensive mm -hmm. prospects in this draft, him and Quinn and Williams. Depends on who you ask. Yeah, and you don't opinions. pass on those guys. And those are two stud players. Mm -hmm. And Joey Bosa will not get out of the top two or three picks. Nick Bosa. Nick, Nick. Bosa. Well, see, see there you go. Joey didn't either. So, <laughs> it, 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 so since Adam calls Nick Joey, well, Joey, Joey is it, three. I know. So, yeah. but is it fair go to say three. Nick has the potential? I, I hate asking this because it's so soon. You know, can he can he be a better player than his brother? Sure, he could be. Sure. Look, look. You know why he has. <sighs> Yeah, he has, he has the benefit of being able to draw mm -hmm. from Joey. Like, he could, he could come out of the – look, even though Joey came out of the gate pretty darn good. Have to hold it right? out. Right, exactly. Right. Look, I, I think, of course, he has the potential. I mean, and being better is relative. Are you saying could he have more sacks? Could he have more tackles for mm -hmm. loss? It, it's going to be all going to be dependent upon where he goes, how they utilize him, all those things that people don't want to hear about. But he's a fantastic player, Wendy. Yeah. I mean, he is very much so advanced at how to play the game – and that's, therein lies the very interesting discussion when you're heading into the draft. Do you like football players who have produced and you know will be solid? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to bet on somebody who maybe hasn't produced but has more upside? Yeah. Right. And that is the dilemma that scouting staffs always fight with. And a lot of times that's where mistakes are made. Because instead of taking good football players, you get enamored with potential. And yep. you think you could change yeah, that. Right. If, we, we put that put that in the right formula. room. Right. With the right, right guy. We you're right. Right. So, so when, when you're talking about Nick Bosa, just you have a football player there. You have one. One with Simple a little bit of injury concerned, True. True. but you have to hope that, you know, those days are behind him. That's we'll right. See. All right. Either way you look at it, it looks like he has a bright future there in the go. NFL along with his brother, Joey.